Uh, yeah, hey guys, just gonna do a video. Um, so yeah, just give you a bit of an update on a few things. It's um, nearly 10 o'clock at night. Um, so it's getting late. I need to get to bed, get some good rest. Um, good news is I found a hostel that has a one room they had no rooms available and they put me in the room with all their workers because of um, they respect what I'm doing. But the funny thing is right at the beginning um, my trolley have to go up these set of stairs, two, two levels with my heavy trolley so I had to put it at the front door and as I put it at the front door um, on the camera they thought I was homeless so they were actually coming down to tell me to go, to leave and um, yeah luckily they heard me out and listened to me and then they actually um, yeah, made room for me so thank God um, I got a room for, for $90, all the other rooms are like 200 US so like 250 300 Australian dollars for a room that's like the cheapest in Seattle so hectic um, also I spoke to my brother and he he encouraged me to wear shoes um, and for all the American people who are new on my page um, and any Canadians who are new on my page just probably didn't know that I actually run barefoot I got my own barefoot running socks that I make. Um, they're called Roo Runners. Um, so I decided to wear, sh I bought some shoes and wore shoes for the first couple of days only for the reason that it's cold and my barefoot running socks are not designed yet for, um, for c cold weather. They're more designed for the northern parts of Australia. So I try to wear shoes and the the crazy thing with shoes is I end up, I went to the running shop and they're all like $250, $300 and that's too expensive. So I went for a shoe that's on sale and paid $100. Crazy thing is with running shoes or shoes like, especially running shoes, sorry, is you buy the shoe and then you go for a run and realize and find out that they're not good, you know. Um, so it was rubbing on my toe a bit, and then it was rubbing on my heel, and then I like you can't come continue to run the next two months in those. So it's like after two days, I realised they're not good, and then they're actually crippling my feet. So yesterday was a stressful day because I had to make up the mind of get rid of the shoes. So I went back to my barefoot running socks and I felt great all day um, in them. So there's a big le learning lesson in that for everybody. But anyway, I wasn't gonna go pa pa getting another different pair of shoes for $200 to same again, go run for a couple of days and find out they're not good. So. A lot of runners just do 10 or 20 kilometers, you know, or 10 kilometers for fitness. When you're running 10 hours a day, it's crazy. So anyway, I'm in Seattle. I made it to Seattle in four days from, from Vancouver in Canada to here. And that's the last I'm gonna say of that in regards to four days from Vancouver because I'm now only, I'm only classifying it from the, the US border. So, it's three days to here. I'm feeling good. Um, I'm t I just need to get some rest. I'm, they're, big, they're big days. So, I'm in, finishing in the dark time and just not get, got to get the food into me and everything. I've got some more crazy statistics for you guys. It's, this will blow your mind away because it's blowing my mind away. In Australia, I normally drink five to six litres a day. Five litres I drink, and I use about one litre of water for my cooking. So I normally, yeah, five, six litres a day. The past four days, I haven't even 
I've only, I've got a little bit left of my five liters. So I haven't even drunk the whole five liters of water that I got in four days. Yes, I've been um, filling up my water bottle a couple of times in, at a cafe or something. Yes, I am drinking some, um, you know, like a, a, a big Coca-Cola that I get from, say, the, the service station. So I am, I am, you know, getting more fluids from other areas, but normally in Australia, that'd be 20 litres of water I would have drunk in four days. And I haven't even come close to that because it has been so cold. Um, the, sun, the sun was out today, so that was good. Um, <clears throat> today, like, there's so much congestion of, of road works, um, concrete jungle, sprawled out for like for a long long way today um, just car lots after car lots after car lots after car lots I've seen so many car lots for sale um, and I'm running I, I have been running in some places that I, I, I hate the most so but anyway that's all part of it there's a lot of homelessness guys it's hectic um, I've had some hectic moments. Feel sorry for a lot of people. It's a big mess going on, guys. It's hectic. Um, to, to the state that I've been seeing people and, and where a, a lot of people are at. It's a big mess that needs to be fixed. It's a big problem. And I don't see it going to get any better. Um, yeah, so um, crazy times. Um, that's pretty well it for now. I could t talk about a lot of things, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. Uh, oh yeah, thanks everybody else who's helped donate. Thank you so much for your kind donations. It really means a lot to me. Um, it's a huge help. Like I said, I couldn't even afford to stay in accommodation tonight in a hotel. So I've got a I've got a bunk in the room with host in a hostel to save on costs, and you know. So anyone who's helped donate, thank you. Recovery is the biggest thing. Like it is so important. To, your sleep to, for my muscles to heal, and then the food, you know. So if you can help donate, please donate. If, and if you have donated, thank you so much. And if you have, please share this video. Help get it out there. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably the like second Aussie that's ever ran across America, let alone the first Aussie that's ran across with no support car, you know, pushing my heavy trolley. And the me anyway, I've got to go. Someone's coming in the room. Thanks, guys. Blessings to you all. Hello. Hello. How are you?